I have been able to initiate this program called Literatures of Annihilation, Exile, and Resistance. And I have uh, collaborators and sponsors that have come on board that are just remarkable from the Kroc Institute and from the Keough School of Global Affairs, thinking alongside other board members about what it means to actually think at the intersections of human rights and the arts, and to think about how writers have been innovating the technology of the novel or the poem as they respond to state-sanctioned violence. The entire initiative was um, funded and championed by Dean Sarah Mustillo, and she really allowed it to take off in a big way. The initiative centers on uh, writers from the Middle East and North Africa and takes on issues um, that are very much uh, relevant to our current moment of gross human rights violations in the region and military domination. And we also invite uh, writers of color from the American landscape to participate because what we're thinking about is specifically how the military industrial complex abroad has everything to do with the militarization of the police as it charges against black and brown bodies in the American landscape. Our university is actually a place where all of this work about human rights is already ongoing but we haven't actually invited the arts into that conversation in a critical way. And I think that it's completely poised to take off at an institution like this. Um, also because we have the right faculty to do that. And faculty who are actually genuinely eager to work with one another in very deeply collaborative and radical ways. We're poised to do a lot of really important work and to really th move um, the arts closer to questions of human rights, closer to questions of um, sociality and sociology, and to really see what can come from that.